I got some really big news for graphics card availability. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Stock Drops. So as many of you may know, this year it's been incredibly difficult to get new technology. Whether it be graphics cards, CPUs, or even new consoles, they all seem to be selling out in seconds, and personally, I don't have the time to be refreshing websites all day. Thankfully, Stock Drops does the work for you by constantly checking when new products are in stock all over the internet and alerting you when they become available. Stock Drops has a great community on Discord as well as a new app they just launched which is the fastest way to get notified with full SKU customization and in-browser alerts. And right now they're doing a giveaway for a Ryzen 9 5900X and Arctic cooler. So if you want a better chance of getting that new GPU, CPU, or console, click the links in the description below to find out more. Alright, so last week we talked about how GPU mining had hit an all-time high in terms of its profitability, mostly thanks to Ethereum hitting an all-time high as it had gone from somewhere around 2000 US dollars uh, the previous week or a couple weeks beforehand and then it had gone all the way up to 4200 US dollars for its peak and of course Ethereum is what most GPU miners are actually mining on their GPUs which then made it a lot more profitable leading to a lot more people uh, being more likely at least to go out and try and buy more graphics cards making it even harder for us gamers to try and get our hands on any sort of at least Nvidia GPU whatsoever and then you got AMD over here uh, that just simply isn't able to meet demand at the moment though they are kind of ramping up their production as well but that's kind of another story but what I want to talk about today is that there's been a huge update on the Ethereum mining front and it looks like the actual profitability of Ethereum mining on all GeForce GPUs has dropped in half and in fact uh, taking a look right now you can see that it actually seems like it's dropped to less than half of what they are making just a little bit ago so if we take a look at the Ethereum mining calculator online we can see here taking a look at the RTX 3080 first that it is now making about $10.64 a day which is still not too bad I mean you know 10 days go by and it's still about a hundred dollars so yeah not too bad however uh, that is definitely a lot down from where it was I believe it was somewhere around $20 about a week ago now if we take a look at the RTX 3070 we can see that this one's coming in at around six dollars and seventy cents per day which again is actually less than half of what it was estimating about one week ago where it was making $15 a day off of a single RTX 3070 so you can imagine if there's people out there with one 3070 they're probably going to be mining on it as you know $15 a day 10 days go by that's actually $150 off of just one video card but now you're only talking about uh, you know closer to $70 so that's definitely a huge drop and then if we take a look at the RTX 3060 Ti we can see a similar uh, amount here it's about $6.70 and then with the RTX 3060 that's about $5.40 and then, you know, looking at the RTX 3060, even if it's not mining locked, you know, $5.40 a day isn't really that great. I mean, $50 in 10 days definitely isn't horrible. It's better than a kick in the shins. But, you know, again, that's a huge drop off from where it was. And, you know, it's starting to look like it's going to be trending downwards, at least if Ethereum doesn't suddenly spike again. Now, that being said, Ethereum could spike again. It's possible that it could reach maybe like 6000 maybe even $8,000 US dollars. That is technically possible. I don't know if it will be raising further or if it's gonna uh, continue to drop as it looks like it has dropped a little bit but that's what I want to talk about here you know despite the fact that ethereum has dropped from around uh, four thousand US dollars for a single coin it's still trading for around three thousand six hundred dollars as of the recording of this video and of course by the time you're watching it it could be worth a little bit more it could be worth a little bit less but you know uh, that's only I think around somewhere around a 20 percent drop I'm just kind of doing this math in my head I could be off there um, but so that's definitely not half and what that tells me is that there's been a huge increase in the amount of people mining as the difficulty curve has probably increased significantly and what that tells me is that even if Ethereum does increase because there is a possibility that it could though I don't see it probably raising any higher than $8,000 at least not in the near future as that would actually probably be exceeding Bitcoin's market cap of like closer to a trillion dollars which I don't know if that'll happen with Ethereum uh, I don't think so but again I'm no you know I'm no expert so don't be taking my advice and using that to buy or sell you know ethereum or bitcoin or whatever but in any case you know even if it does raise it looks like the difficulty curve is very quickly catching up and you know no matter how high ethereum raises it looks like at a certain point the difficulty curve is going to get so high that it's no longer going to be profitable to be mining on these gpus and if that happens you're going to start to see all of these graphics cards land over on eBay and that's definitely going to help the whole supply and demand issue and it should definitely lead to decreasing prices as well. So this is definitely going to be some really good news for gamers. I think we kind of have the end in sight at this
this point. Um, you know, depending on what happens with the Ethereum coin is basically how fast I do expect things to start to clear up, though you got to keep in mind that even if Ethereum mining goes away completely, that isn't going to 100% solve the whole supply and demand issue overnight, as there still is going to be probably a lot more demand than supply for a little while here. However, it is going to make it a lot, lot easier for you to get your hands on a graphics card and definitely will lead to lower prices. Uh, now, for those of you out there who are saying, well, yeah, but even if Ethereum mining goes away, they'll just move to another coin. Well, the problem with that is that even if you take a look at all the other coins, their market cap is nowhere near as high as Ethereum. So what would likely happen is that if a bunch of people started moving over to another coin, I don't think it would be as profitable as Ethereum. So even if another coin rises up and suddenly starts to become worth more money, I don't think it'll actually be very profitable for miners to mine on it in mass, or at least not at the huge amount that we're seeing right now. But talking about the whole profitability of mining on NVIDIA GeForce GPUs, that kind of leads me into the next thing I want to talk about, and that's the whole NVIDIA mining lock, as there's been a little bit of an update over on the website videocards.com with the whole Galax thing where they were going to be launching some NVIDIA GeForce GPUs with a mining lock on them. Well, there's actually been an update, and it looks like they're actually going to be including the 3060 and 3060 Ti as well. So now we have the 3060, 3060 Ti, 3070, and 3080 coming out from Galax, and I think uh, other AIBs will be following suit here that are going to have the mining lock on them, and it actually cuts the hash rate in half. So if we take a look at what that means, uh, if you take a look at the RTX 3080, that's going to drop from, you know, uh, closer to 80 mega hashes down to 43 mega hashes. The 3070 will drop to 25 mega hashes. 3060 Ti, the same 25 mega hash. Uh, and then the 3060 at 20 mega hash. And in terms of, you know, what that would mean in terms of uh, how much you'd be making on these GPUs, well, you know, at the current market price of Ethereum, you'd be looking at about $5.32 a day on an RTX 3080, which definitely isn't going to be uh, nearly as good as what we're seeing here. That's going to be a quarter of what it was making a week ago on a regular RTX 3080. So that's a huge drop. The RTX 3070, $3.35. That's actually looking to be uh, not very profitable anymore. I mean, you're still making money, but it's not a lot of money anymore. Same with the RTX 3060 Ti. And then taking a look at the RTX 3060, that's only going to be $2.70 a day, which yeah, 10 days pass, and that's only like 20 something dollars. That's really not very much money to be making. And these people would probably be better off, you know, selling these online rather than trying to mine on them. So this kind of brings up a point I want to talk about. So the mining lock, some people are going to like it and some people aren't going to like it. So so if you're mining on your GPU right now or you're looking to buy a GPU and you want to mine on it, you're not going to like this. However, if you're a gamer who doesn't have any interest in mining whatsoever, you probably are going to like this a lot because, you know, even though they are selling these CMP HX mining cards and I wish they wouldn't sell them whatsoever, I kind of wish they would just sell graphics cards to gamers and they would sell, uh, you know, their Quadro cards and whatever to professionals and they just would kind of leave out the mining market as, um, you know, mining, it's, it's a lot of power being used and honestly, I'd rather see GPUs in the hands of gamers. But hey, the market's going to decide what it's going to decide. And if, you know, miners want to buy GPUs, they're going to continue to do so. And NVIDIA is a company and they are going to sell to them. So that's just how it's going to be. Um, but, you know, even if they do increase the production of mining cards, I don't think that that's going to suddenly make it worse for gamers. You know, uh, it's going to be worse for potentially the environment as these GPUs with no display outs are likely just going to end up as e-waste. But in terms of, you know, your ability to get a graphics card, I think it's actually going to be better for you. And the reason why is because, you know, I don't see them, you know, suddenly shifting all their supply from GeForce over to the CMP HX mining cards as they do need to show investors that they do have a large presence in the GeForce gaming market as they don't want, you know, AMD to be creeping in on that gaming market. And honestly, the mining market is probably a little bit more risky for investors as uh, mining kind of comes and goes it seems like, or at least it has in the past. I don't know if that's going to be the case in the future, uh, but it's definitely a more risky investment uh, in terms of like if investors are looking at NVIDIA's profits and they're looking at it and they're like, well, all of a sudden it's mostly coming from mining uh, and you've shifted away from gaming. Well, what happens if mining goes away? So that's why I think that NVIDIA is going to continue to service the gaming market, even if they do make a lot of money from the uh, mining cards. So if they all of a sudden get replaced, you know, all the GeForce cards get replaced with GeForce cards that have had half the mining rate, uh, well, that what that means is that a lot of miners are probably no longer going to be interested in those cards, and they'll probably start to go towards the mining cards, and that's just going to be more options for you to actually buy, as there's 
going to be a lot less competition for you to buy those cards that were going to be sold anyway but instead of being sold to miners and gamers it'll probably be mostly just selling to gamers so it should increase your chances but again not everyone is necessarily going to like this but hey that's just what i think do you think that the mining lock is good for gamers or do you think that it's bad for gamers let me know your thoughts in the comments below i definitely want to see what you guys have to say and of course i'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.